Welcome. Welcome to your favorite Tennessee Titans podcast, Tennessee Titans Weekly. Jacques. Hope. Oh. Jacques. Hope. Oh. Good morning, y'all. It's very early in the morning where we at, man. Just waking up, just cleaning out my eye crust out of my eyes right now, man. But, Jacques, we got to talk about this, bro. This is hot on the press. DeAndre Hopkins traded to the Kansas City Chiefs, man, as of today, as of right now. D Hop will be a member of the Kansas City Chiefs. Traded for a fifth round pick for next year, a conditional fourth round possibly, really based on D Hop, how he performs, and how the team performs this year with the Chiefs. Like they make the Super Bowls an automatic fourth round. And again, wow. there's some incentives in there for D Hop. If he does well, then it can be turned into a fourth round pick. So huge news, Jacques. Bro, that's that's where we at, bro. Yep, yep, yep. Man, how how you feeling about it, man? Let me well, let me first ask this question. Was it the right decision to trade D Hop? So we mentioned on our last show, man, we're in full out tank season. Tank season, tank season, we're in effect. As a fan, it sucks because you see Derrick Henry with the Ravens going off, AJ Brown with the Eagles. Now we see D Hop going to the Chiefs. So you see our top players leaving. Then D Hop. Last year was my favorite player on offense. Like, D-Hop did his thing last year, right? And as a fan, I understand how people feel. Because now you're, like, you're looking at the Chiefs. They excited. Look at Chris Jones. He's like, let's go. Let's go, right? And then you look at the Kansas City Chiefs roster. You know what I'm saying? Now you've added D-Hop. And Patrick Mahomes is not having a good season. Patrick Mahomes' actually season is actually pretty terrible, actually. But right. the Chiefs are undefeated. And they have a lot of receivers out. You know, Jacques, I mentioned on the other show, I said, I can see D-Hop going to the Chiefs. I said that on the show. Like, they needed a receiver. So, as a fan, I hate it. But as a business, I understand. Right now, we need assets. We suck. We have roster talent, but we don't have long talent. So, over the years, Jacques, our drafts have sucked. That's where why we are right, where we are right now, bro. We got to get younger players. I really hate to see D-Hop leave. I'm hoping it gets converted to a fourth-round pick. I think the deal is even in that regard, um, just for the value. I w wish we could have added maybe another, maybe a seventh round pick, maybe get two picks out of this. But I understand from a business standpoint, we got to get younger. We're tanking this season. This season's over. Early, I know, but Will Levis might not even play this game from his injury. So I'll let you know, like, man, like, dude, we got to make it. I, I think this might be the start of other trades happening for us, bro. I hate to see our good players go. I hate it. I hate it. But this is the byproduct of bad trades, Jacques. So that's kind of that's kind of what I'm at right now with it, Jacques. How you feel about it, bro? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. We again, we talked about it on the show when he went, when he didn't go in the second half. We kind of knew something was looming anyway, um, and it's becoming to be a, a pattern. You know what I mean, especially with like with Rand Carthon and everything, where if you are kind of old in the tooth or you are on your last leg of your contract, he's going to try to put you in the best situation as possible. He did it with Malik by trading him to Green Bay, who's on the trajectory to make the playoffs. Of course, he tried D Henry, D Henry last year, but it got vetoed by Amy. He was going to send him to the Ravens anyway. Um, it's the same thing. Thing with D Hop, he's like D Hop. You longevity in your career, your future Hall of Famer. Let's get you to the one thing that everybody in the NFL achieves to try to do is to get a Super Bowl. And the best chance right now is to put you on a winning product, a winning team, a better quarterback that eventually, hopefully, gets you to that Super Bowl. Like you said, Patrick Mahomes is not playing up to Patrick Mahomes' status right now, but he's doing enough for them to keep winning. Right? They have their defense has been playing pretty solid as well. So it puts him in a, in a perfect situation, and it's a perfect storm for him. He doesn't have to do too much once those other receivers come back. He, it's almost like a Derrick Henry type situation. It's like, hey, I can be a good contributor. I can come out there and make a couple of plays or two, do what I got to do, and then ultimately win what I need to win, right? Um, and this is the, the, the byproduct, like you said, a bad draft. Um, also a byproduct of just how the Titans are set up. And I think, too, from a Titans perspective, like you said, I can see other trades like maybe Harold Landry coming in the pipeline. He might be on the trading block. Not saying I'm not saying that's going to happen, but it's a possibility, right? Um, to get him someplace where he can be okay to get to the next level of playoffs or Super Bowl or anything. So it's not surprising, man. Um, like you said, as a fan, it, I'm, I'm at this point. I'm not disappointed. I'm used to it now. So it's like, okay, what's next? What are we gonna get in the draft? Y'all must see somebody in the draft that y'all like. To in order to start offloading like this, so yeah, man, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Yeah. It sucks, yeah. but hey, yeah. congratulations yeah. to D Hop. 
hey, proud of you, man. Yep. Salute to you, D Hop, bro. Hey, we we know we we hope you know we hope everything goes well for him. D Hop was a great dude. He, he loved playing here. And then, man, if you mm -hmm. think of the Titans, man, over a period of time, you know we were we were at a position where we won a lot of football games. We were a number one seed in the AFC. We were the number one team in the league at one point, right? Then we had that for years, right? So it's not the Titans have been just trash for a very long time. We had a period where we were really good. Over the last few years, we have gotten worse, and we're continuing to get worse. So that's what happens when you don't win a Super Bowl. You have talent. You got to let things go to bring in younger talent to get better draft spots. This is going to push us to get probably a top three pick in the next year, probably at a, at a quarterback position. So, Jacques, for you, man, looking at this trade as far as a fourth-round pick and other trades, what do you think for next year in 2025 with this, with D-Hop being gone, though he's going to be gone anyway because he was only one more year. What do you think things look are looking more like next year with D-Hop gone and these younger players like Jaquan Jackson, old guys, stepping up? Um, I'm seeing uh, Rand Carthon's vision of trying to build through the draft. And, and what he's contributed so far, the, the draft picks this year are actually contributing, right, from J.C. to T-Sweat to Brown Lee. Uh, now Jaquan is going to actually get a shot to play receiver, right? It's, if that's if, if if they don't bring in somebody else, but what I'm seeing is is they're trying to fix the thing. They're trying to right the ship. It almost reminds me of um, it almost reminds me of when the Bengals were that trash that year, right? And I think they went. I think they had a number one, oh, number one overall pick, and they ended up picking Joe Burrow the next year. Got their quarterback. They start building around them. And all of a sudden, they started elevating. Same way with San Francisco. It's the same concept. So I think, man, what I'm seeing here is they're trying to right the ship with the draft. Instead of saying, hey, free agency, you guys are just fillers right now. But the draft is where we really want to put our focus. And the draft is what we're going to do. So Rand has done a great job with what he's been able to do so far with the draft picks. When your draft picks are contributing on day one, or year one, they're going to be good for a long time. Okay. So that's for me. What about you, Hulk? Facts, no paper, Jacques. I think when they play the Detroit Lions, they should put a mirror in front of Detroit and mirror themselves because that's what Detroit has done over the last five years, right? Well, one, they got a good coach, too. So the, the word is still out on Callahan if he's a good coach. We shall see, right? But you look at you know players like Jamison Williams, uh, Jameer Gibbs, Aiden Hutchinson. Those guys were drafted over the last five years because the Detroit Lions stunk, right? Especially when they made the trade with the Rams. They end up getting a whole bunch of draft picks. So I do think, to your point, we're right now trying to add. Now we have seven picks in, in next year's draft. We have seven. So, you know, continue to add. You got to give to get sometimes, right? And I think that's where we're at. Again, I hate to see D-Hop leave. I hate it as a fan. So to me, this has alerted me to say, well, we're taking this year to get better for the years going forward, right, for next year and the years. Because some of the players we've added to our team, when you think of Kenneth Murray, you think of uh, Jones, you think of those guys, Tony Pollard, they've hit on top mm -hmm. of the rookies that we've drafted, right? Mm -hmm. So right now it's like, okay, where are we really hurting? We're hurting the quarterback. We're hurting the right mm -hmm. tackle. We're hurting it, and we're hurting the receiver. So it's yes. like, okay, let's add those to some of the younger pieces, though they're free agents, they're young. Let's add that to them. D-Hop's old. So, again, I hate mm -hmm. D-Hop is gone. I, I really hate seeing Derrick Henry and A.J. Brown going off, man. They're just part of the – A.J. Brown's different. That's different. That is mm -hmm. different. The A.J.'s different. D-Hop was a – you know, he got traded – you know, it is what it is. D-Hop, good luck to you, man. I think he's in a really good situation with Kansas City, man, and hopefully he wins a ring. Uh, but Tennessee Titans right now, fans, I, if you're pissed off and sad, I get it. I understand. I do. Right. Just also look at it from a business standpoint. And for this year that the season's done, this is more for the future. Hopefully it works out. It doesn't guarantee we lose D-Hop and also we're going to be good down the road. That doesn't guarantee anything because teams do this. This is a normal thing, right? That's the hope. So we'll see, man. We'll see. Also, before we get out of here, man, I'm not giving up on Callahan. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I know there's a lot of fans out there that's already giving up on him. But if you're giving up on Callahan now, and if we do get a new coach, you're going to continue to do the same thing. I'm patient with him enough, and I trust I'm trusting the process when it comes to Rand and Callahan. This is year one, dog. Like, I can't do that. I cannot do that and just say throw them to the wolves. I can't do that. So I just want to throw that out there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, listen, we want to say thank you all for watching the show, man. As always, you can subscribe to us. Please do that now. Here on YouTube, hit the like button. 
of course, we got merchandise out there, too, on Teespring. You see my hoodie, the Tennessee Titans Weekly Hoodie. Man, it feels good, too, in it's cold weather. You can follow us on Bleacher Report. Click on Titans on Bleacher Report. We're there. We do the post-game shows. We're on Apple. We're on Spotify. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're on those internet streets, shop. Yes, sir. And appreciate y'all again watching the show. Shout out to you, D-Hop, man. Keep grinding, bro. Hey, congratulations on uh, getting traded to the Chiefs, man. I know that's a great spot for you. Um, and, hey, we got more content coming this week. Live chop up this week. Just be looking out. Hope take yep. us out. Yes, sir. And as we always say and as we always do, folks, facts. No paper.